The Parthenon is a resplendent marble temple built between 447 BC and 432 BC, during the height of the ancient Greek Empire. Dedicated to the Greek goddess Athena, the Parthenon sits high atop a compound of temples known as the Acropolis of Athens. It was the largest and most lavish temple the Greek mainland had ever seen. Throughout the centuries, the Parthenon withstood earthquakes, fire, wars, explosions and looting yet remains, although battered, a powerful symbol of ancient Greece and Athenian culture. Today, it is one of the most recognized buildings in the world and an enduring symbol of ancient Greece. The Parthenon was the center of religious life in the powerful Greek city-state of Athens, the head of the Delian League. Developed to thwart the possibility of an attack by the Persian Empire or other foes, the Delian League was a cooperative alliance of Greek city-states founded in 478 BC. This was during the invasions of the Persian Wars. The celebrated Greek statesman Pericles is credited with ordering the design and construction of the Parthenon as a temple for Athena, the goddess of wisdom, arts, literature, and war. But it may not have been the first attempt to house the deity. An earlier structure known as the Older Parthenon or Pre-Parthenon once existed on the site of the current Parthenon. Many historians believe the Older Parthenon was under construction in 480 BC. This was when the Persian Empire attacked Athens and destroyed the Acropolis, although some experts dispute this theory. Thirty-three years after the Persian invasion, Pericles commenced building the Parthenon to replace the earlier temple. The massive structure was dedicated in 438 BC. Sculpting and decorative work at the Parthenon continued until 432 BC. It's estimated that 13,400 stones were used to build the temple, at a total cost of around 470 silver talents, roughly $7 million. Pericles commissioned the renowned Greek architects Ictinus and Callicrates and the sculptor Phidias to design the Parthenon which became the largest Doric-style temple of its time. The structure has a rectangular floor plan and is built on a 23,000-square-foot base, part of which was the limestone foundation of the old Parthenon. Low steps surrounded each side of the building, and a portico of Doric columns standing on a platform create a border around it. There are 46 outer columns and 19 inner columns. The columns are slightly tapered to give the temple a symmetrical appearance. The corner columns are larger in diameter than the other columns. Incredibly, the Parthenon contains no straight lines and no right angles, a true feat of Greek architecture. The statues are a sight to behold. They statues depict scenes from Greek mythology. 92 carved metopes adorn the exterior walls of the Parthenon. Metopes are square blocks placed between three channel triglyph blocks. The metopes on the west side depict Amazonomachy, a mythical battle between Amazon warriors and the ancient Greeks, and were thought to be designed by the sculptor Calamis. The metopes on the east side show Gigantomachy, mythical battles between gods and giants. Most metopes on the south side show Centauromachy, the battle of mythical centaurs with the Lapiths, and the metopes on the north side portray the Trojan War. Parthenon Freeze a broad, decorated horizontal band called a frieze runs along the entire length of the walls of the Parthenon's inner chamber. The cellar. The frieze was carved using the bas-relief technique, which means the sculpted figures are raised slightly from the background. There are two sculpted, triangular-shaped gables known as pediments on each end of the Parthenon. The east pediment depicted Athena's birth from the head of her father, Zeus. The west pediment showed the conflict between Athena and Poseidon to claim Attica, an ancient region of Greece which included the city of Athens. The best of these is the Athena Parthenos. A shrine within the Parthenon housed an extraordinary statue of Athena, known as Athena Parthenos, which was sculpted by Phidias. The statue no longer exists but is thought to have stood about 12 meters high, 39 feet. Now some additional learning for the advanced groups. First, the Parthenon sits on the Acropolis in Athens, Greece. This area has evidence of civilization that date to at least 5,000 years old. Strong fortification walls have surrounded the summit of the Acropolis for more than 3,300 years. The first fortification wall was built during the 13th century BC and surrounded the residence of the local Mycenaean ruler. 
the Acropolis of Athens is one of the most famous ancient archaeological sites in the world. Located on a limestone hill high above Athens, Greece, the Acropolis has been inhabited since prehistoric times. Over the centuries, the Acropolis was many things, to princes, priests, peasants and kings. Second. Little is known about the Mycenaean civilization or their roots. It is thought they ruled during the Bronze Age, in ancient Greece. Spanning approximately 1750 to 1050 BC. It represents the first advanced and distinctively Greek civilization in mainland Greece with its palatial states, urban organization, works of art, and writing system. The Mycenaean Greeks introduced several innovations in the fields of engineering, architecture, and military infrastructure. They also conducted trade over vast areas of the Mediterranean, this fueled the Mycenaean economy. Their syllabic script, the Linear B, offers the first written records of the Indo-European Greek language, and their religion already included several deities that can also be found in the Olympic pantheon. Mycenaean Greece was dominated by a warrior elite society, and consisted of a network of palace-centered states that developed rigid hierarchical, political, social and economic systems. At the head of this society was the king, known as Awanax. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot. And if you're interested I've linked some documentaries and videos about the Parthenon if anyone's interested.